Hi, welcome to Chemistry 1001. We're talking about states of matter, and in this topic we're going to talk about vaporization and condensation, how it happens and what's going on. What is vaporization? Well, let me just read it out. Vaporization is the process by which a substance in the liquid state becomes a vapor. Woohoo, not very hard. But how does it actually happen? Well, it happens because of the different velocity distributions of the particles in the liquid. A few of the molecules at the surface of the liquid happen to have a lot of energy, i.e. they're moving pretty fast. And if they happen to be moving in the right direction, i.e. perpendicular to the liquid surface, they can escape. They can escape the liquid and go into the gas. That's called vaporization. Uh, condensation is exactly the reverse. If we have a gas above the liquid, we know that some of the gas molecules are moving pretty slowly, and maybe some of them are actually pretty close to the surface. So as they're moseying on along the surface, they may get attracted into the liquid and get stuck there. So that's condensation. Or perhaps the molecule is traveling a bit faster, but going directly headlong into the liquid, and it goes splash into the liquid and gets stuck there. However it happens, uh, condensation is the reverse process of vaporization and it depends on two factors. Uh, both of these depend on molecules moving in the right direction, either away from the surface or towards the surface, and it depends on them having either a lot of energy in the case of vaporization or not much energy in the case of condensation. This is the actual picture of what's going on. You have the liquid over here, and you can see at the surface this particular water molecule has had enough energy. Maybe it's got a bump in the backside and it jumps into the gas. And over here we have a molecule uh, which is going headlong into the liquid, and perhaps it gets stuck like this one. This particular molecule uh, has had too much energy. It comes in, hits the liquid, and goes back out. So not all of the molecules condense into the liquid and not all of the molecules have enough energy to escape. But some of, the, some of them do and some of them don't have enough energy and they get trapped in the liquid. It's important to understand that this gas and this liquid both are at the same temperature. They're at equilibrium and what that means is that they both have the same root mean square velocity. It may not look like it, but these molecules in here are moving, vibrating at the same temperature, on average, as these guys in the gas phase. So the fact that we have a phase separation, phase separation, liquid and vapour, has nothing to do with the fact that the vapour has more energy or less energy than the liquid. This is a different thing. And the reason that there are two phases has to do with entropy, a fact that we've discussed before. This is a point where both of these substances happen to have the same degree of entropy, free energy, and at that case, in this case, they can coexist. They can be in equilibrium. Delta G for this process is zero.